What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Stewie and this is Black Cobold Media and welcome back to the second episode of Interesting History. That's right, I promised you a video about masturbation and here it is, you sick bastards. Alright, what we're going to talk about today is the history of the graham cracker and cornflakes. Now right now you're saying to yourself, Stewie, I thought we were going to talk about masturbation. That's right, we're talking about the origins of graham crackers and cornflakes. Now you see, the flour that's used to create graham crackers was created by a man named Sylvester Graham. In 1829, he created a diet that uh, excluded meat and butter and milk and animal byproducts in general. And he believed that this would prevent you from touching yourself. He was of the mind that your body is a temple and you absolutely should not pleasure yourself. He did believe that you yanking your crank was an evil act that would lead to insanity. Now, the only reason this really blew up was there was a cholera pandemic between 1829 and 1851 around the world. It didn't reach New York until 1832. But by that point, Graham's diet had already been going around the U.S. And in New York, his followers that were following this diet were uh, thriving because the uh, advice of the day to avoid cholera was to eat lots of meat, drink port wine, and avoid, above all things, vegetables, which was the basis for the Sylvester Graham diet, that being veganism, and obviously breads made of this whole wheat flour that was eventually dubbed Graham flour. Now, a big follower of his was, you guessed it, John Kellogg. Now, John Kellogg in Ohio in uh, the 1880s, 1890s, uh, ran a sanitarium slash spa house. They even a few presidents uh, visited uh, to uh, cure their ailments, apparently. Well, his brother, Will Keith Kellogg, you may know him as the founder of the Battle Creek Toasted Corn Company, the uh, originator of the Kellogg cornflakes that were sold to the public. Well, John and Will ran the sanitarium, Will being the bookkeeper, and they, following along after the Sylvester Graham, uh, decided that spicy and sweet foods would just lead to increased passion. Now, John Kellogg here took it a bit further in the list of things that he thought might be caused by you jerking your chain. And I have the list right here. The first couple of things were cancer of the womb, urinary disease, nocturnal emissions and impotence, epilepsy, insanity, mental and physical debility, the dimness of vision, and of course, we can't leave out moral corruption. So while running the sanitarium, he puts these uh, people on the diet to prevent them from touching themselves. In 1894, John and Will left out a batch of cooked wheat dough. When they came back, that shit was stale. Well, being as they uh, didn't really have a lot of funds and they were kind of cheap, they forced that shit through the rollers anyway, hoping to get one big chunk of dough. Well, it came out in these little stale flakes, and they decided, well, we can't feed it like this, so they toasted it up, and they fed it to the patients. Now, eventually, uh, Will Keith started the Battle Creek Toasted Corn Company and started selling it to the public. And in order to make more money, he started adding sugar and making more cereals. And this caused a giant rift, obviously, between John and Will, because John was all about the masturbation. You could not masturbate. And sugar, as you remember, obviously causes masturbation. So I just want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that in the future, you won't forget me while you're eating your cereal, while you're at a campfire, eating those s'mores. Just remember, you and me sitting here talking about you touching yourself. Thanks for watching, and remember, thank a veteran. Watch out for motorcycles. I'll catch you another time.